Daryl Bennett here. Good morning. I want to encourage somebody. Uh, I was reading the book of Ezra this morning. <laughs> That's a powerful book. You get a chance, read it. Read the whole thing. It's pretty short. Only about 10 chapters. And uh, it's really the story about people building and opposition trying to frustrate their purposes. You know, whenever you build something, there's always going to be people that come out of the woodwork. And this is what they did. They came out of the woodwork to to try to use their past to condemn them. That's that's really what, what they were trying to do. It didn't succeed, but I don't even want to give energy to to the negative. I want to talk about why I got on here to encourage somebody. So there's this point where their purposes have been frustrated and they even stopped, the, the, the people of God stopped building for, for a period of time because perhaps it was fear, perhaps it was just the amount of frustration. But then there's a moment where they start building again. And the, and the opposition comes back and says, it's a different opposition in person, but in spirit, it's the same. You get what I mean? And they, they come back and they say, you know, who told you to build again? And they, they go and tattle on the king again, another king, and say they, they're doing something they shouldn't. But this time, the outcome was completely different. And this is what's interesting, and this is why I want to encourage you. <laughs> it's a point at which not only does the new king... Uh, push forward and say, oh, no, 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 no. Let them do what they were called to do. <laughs> but the, the, the scripture keeps using the word speedily. He even says, uh, put this decree through speedily. Make sure they don't have to pay taxes and make sure it's done speedily. And what, at one point he even says, uh, if anybody tries to stop them this time, let wood be used to build gallows and hang them for it. And so this is what I want to tell you. I think it's interesting that the writers keep using that word speedily. It comes like five, six, seven times in that book, particularly after the point of opposition. And this is what I came on here to encourage somebody. God's about to do something speedily in your life. See, some things take years, some things take decades, four years at the college, seven years of building the business, but I wanna speak a word of acceleration in your life. Somebody listen to me today, you just need to shout speedily. God is gonna shift something speedily. And this is the part I really wanna leave you with. There's a part in which the writer says, because the good hand of the Lord was on my life, it moved the king's heart to do favors for us. Not only is it gonna be speedily, but I wanna speak this in your life. You're gonna get favor from somebody you have no business having favor with. You, you're gonna be in a room you're not qualified to be in because the good hand of the Lord is over your life. That's your word, that's your word, that's your word. You better receive it.